Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we are exploring Batman Arkham Asylum. And what do we have right here? Oh, look. It's an explosive wall. Pull that up. And let's go get ourselves our, another, uh, Chronicle of Arkham. I took a walk around my island. I passed by the penitentiary and felt nauseous at the thought of the filth it contained. I looked out over the Gotham Bay. And in the distance, I saw lights. No doubt boats bringing more filthy degenerates to my city. I swore again to protect her from this darkness. Okay. So, looks like he doesn't really like anybody, to be perfectly honest. And, uh, oh, there's another one right here. Though I'm not sure what it has in it. Gotta have something. In theory. Ooh, pretty mushrooms. Nothing else? I could try scanning the mushrooms, of course. No subject detected. Nothing. The mushrooms are nonplussed. I have tried rubbing every item in my inventory on these mushrooms, and it's not doing a thing. Damn. Oh, what about that lamp? It's a weird lamp. What the hell is that doing there? I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Still, Chronicle of Arkham. We got that. That's cool. And, uh, right over here, we can jump down. And this is actually the, uh... Whew. Why should he? He let Green out in the first place. Oh, there's people over there. Killer Croc. And it looks like we have to go that way, because this thing, uh, I guess we have to lower this elevator in order to uh, follow Crane, I guess, because he went down this elevator, I'm 90% sure, whereas this one seems to be broken. And uh, let me just look around with the detective vision, make sure there's nothing in there, nope, okay. But what's down here? This looks like a secret hidden lair thingy. Very cool. Real solved. That was one of the more taxing ones. So this would appear to be Jonathan Crane's lair. Obviously the scarecrow. Ooh, what's this letter say? Dear sir slash madam, I'm writing to inform you that your relative is uh something and will be something to a something floating cage in some crazy dungeon. Wait. That your relative is some... It's really hard to read because the, the textures are kind of uh, smudged. You have no legal reference in this decision and may be liable for all costs incurred for the treatment of your psycho psych of your psych psychotic family member uh, best regards from all of us at Arkham Asylum Rehabilitation Services have a nice day the Joker and pals signed as soon as it says Joker I'm not good at re uh, reading uh, not good at reading him uh, Frick cursive, whatever it's called, Professor J, uh, something, something. Yeah. Okay, so that's a, a fake letter that Joker wrote to the family of, uh, Killer Croc, it looks like, since he's talking about, uh, an inhumane floating cage in some crazy dungeon, and that, uh, they described, uh, Aaron Cash, when we talked to him, he described Killer Croc's cage as being a, uh, uh, like floating cage underwater or whatever and this looks like the same one yeah okay so that's the same one so that's that's funny I wonder why uh, Crane has that in his place though he also has a old TV some chairs maps of the entire building that's to be expected helps to have a map yeah, all of these look the same. That one's been cut. 
cut a bit. But that one... Oh, this one... Uh, the textures on this one look a bit clearer. Relative is... Uh, no. Okay. Still can't tell. Alright. And the pictures on this... Ooh! That's kind of creepy. These are pictures from the uh, elevator scene when... Uh, at the beginning of the game when we were bringing Joker in and uh, right before the lights went out. Which actually leads me to believe maybe Crane was the one who made the lights go out in the elevator. He was obviously watching us right before it happened. And he has this computer down here and he's got maps of the whole place. Crane's obviously been planning all this for a while, whatever he's planning. Maybe he uh, was helping Joker the whole time. Very interesting. That's cool. That's a... God damn, I love details like that. I know I'm, like... I'm... Continually... Uh, you know... <laughs> bringing up how I love small environmental details like that. But... I do. Dang it. I really do. And, uh, these guys, one of them has a gun. No way to sneak up on him. There's no other entrance to that room, is there? Nope. I guess I'm gonna have to use a the bat claw or something, or maybe the uh, maybe the multi battering can help. There you go. Knock them all over and uh, take them out before they can get up. Yeah, no. he didn't stand a chance. Oh God. Okay, I know Batman didn't mean to do it, but he just crushed that man's head into the wall. Uh, maybe the Joker was right. Maybe he is a bit crazy. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just forget that happened and let's hack this. Okay, let's do it rather quickly. There you go. Good. Get that out of the way. Now the door opens up. Yippee. And there's more thugs to beat up. Fantastic. Ooh, but what's this? Haven't seen this before. You don't have to be mad to work here, but it certainly helps. Is that a riddle? No, that's not a riddle. That should be the answer to a riddle. That's a complete... That I, I swear to God, I haven't seen that at all anywhere else in this game. That's a completely unique, like, item model. You would think if they're going to put that much effort into modeling a 3D object in the game that is unique and only appears in one spot, you'd think it would be significant in some way. Yeah, and that's the, uh, that's the elevator that got destroyed. I don't remember exactly how. Oh, right, uh, the Joker put explosives on it. And he blew it up, right. Okay. Let's, uh, Drop down. Uh-oh, they saw me. Never mind. I was looking around to make sure none of them had guns, but actually... Crap. He just grabbed a gun, so... Let's take him out before he can actually use it. There you go. I really don't want any of them being cheeky and trying to... Trying to shoot me in the back while I'm fighting them. Don't they don't they understand the concept of a fair fight? Really. Honestly. You want some of this? Yeah, get your skull broken. I don't want any of what you have. We can have plenty of what I'm in and out. Ha. Ha. Yeah. I'm 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 tough, can't you tell? I made jokes to a bunch of video game characters. And uh, I think that's the way we have to go, that looks like it. Which means this way is the way we want to go. <laughs> Ooh, lots of books. Lots of books indeed. None of them look significant though. Oh, hey, secrets map. Nice. Let's just grab that right there. What's this? Hands off my locker. Huh. <laughs> huh. Nice. I guess one of the employees took a picture of Killer Croc's hand and used that to try to deter people from taking their stuff. 
Oh, yeah, this whole, like, room is Killer Croc themed. They've got pictures of, like, every part of his body. This looks like a, a prototype for his collar, I would guess. Oh, or extra collars, I suppose. Not, not prototypes. Extra collars all over the place. Very cool. Nothing else to uh, examine as far as I can see. And we already got the, uh, the riddle for this area, because that was just uh, the Jonathan Crane one. Oh, anything in, anything in here? Oh, it's me! Okay. I guess that's what they feed Killer Croc. By the looks of it. Okay, control room access. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, let's look at this interview tape first. Keep patient, session two. Patient name, Waylon Jones, a.k.a. Killer Croc. So, is this the part where you try and reason with me? Find out why I did it, Doc? We're here to help you, Mr. Jones. You got a cure for me then, Doc? Can you make me normal? Normal is a poor choice of words. No one's really normal, are they? <clears throat> Figured as much. So, how about this, Doc? You let me go now, and I won't eat you. You don't really eat people. It's just an urban myth. Oh, you think? Yeah, I would, I would take his word for it. He looks like a trustworthy guy to me. Um, but yeah, this is a this is a crappy place. Danger keep out. Yeah, no, you think? And more of the skulls. Okay, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. Like this is a this is a place where the employees, the security guards of the asylum have to walk through, presumably, every day to go and bring Killer Croc his meat and feed him, and there are just skulls just hanging out on the side of the wall. Really. Too late, Batman. One step closer, and this goes into the water. The cave will fill with your deepest, darkest nightmares, and you will never reach your precious venom roots. <laughs> Don't do it, Crane. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Access to Killer Croc's lair. Yeah, that's what we did. Are we going to pick up the, the bag of stuff that he dropped? No, I guess we're not interested in that. All right. Kind of... Kind of doesn't make any sense why Killer Croc would have done that. And uh, also, spoiler warning, Scarecrow is not dead. He just... Uh, he just he's just taking a nap. And what was so important about this? Why was he like poking at it? I don't know. Oh well. Um now this way looks like a place we could go. But Ah oh boy. Can we No, no. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. We can't climb over? Really? There's clearly space. You can clearly grab onto that, Batman. <sighs> okay, how about... Over here. Uh, what if... We do this? There you go. Alright. That's better. And then from over here, we do the same thing. To get over to that side. And then we can grab... The Riddler Trophy. Good. That's what I wanted. You just had to go and make it freaking confusing. And we got another upgrade. That's nice. 
kind of wish we could get whatever the next uh, gadget is that we're missing so I could actually put an upgrade on that but oh well alright and how do we get back over here this is good this works I don't want to fall in that water I know what'll happen <laughs> not good things let's just put it that way anything in these ooh maybe can we climb up into them no, we cannot. Okay, well, we can at least look in this. Okay, nothing in there. Got it, good. Now let's, uh, jump a Rooney over here. And then, yeah. whew! Completely unnecessary. Anything in here? Anything in here? No, okay, I, I don't think there's gonna be anything in those. Probably, most likely. Right? No, okay. Let's just get over here now. Uh-oh. Killer Croc is not happy. Even though they've been giving him plenty of meat. For some reason. Um. That's obviously the way we have to go. So let's check out what's over here. Yeah. Um. Come on, there's gotta be something. Like that. Batman, can you hear me? Have you found Croc's lair yet? I'm close to Croc's lair. I'll contact you when I have more information. No. Okay. Old sewer. Wait. What? Uh, well, I guess we'll listen to the interview tape first. Okay. Um. Crap, now I'm not actually sure. Let me look at the map real quick. Croc Slayers. That way. Uh. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, Main Sewer Junction. This is a. Uh... Okay, so I was right. Yeah, that's uh, that door we just went through. That's right there. And that way was definitely Killer Croc's lair. Okay, for a second, because uh, Oracle contacted us and talked to us uh, right as soon as I walked in this direction, which made me think, like, this was the uh, the path to continue. So, yeah, okay. Just uh, confused me a little bit, to put it lightly. And hey, look at that, we got another Chronicle of Arkham. Sweet. I argued with the latest group of young, eager doctors. They bored me with theories and ideas, proving that they had no theories on how to cure these animals. Only one shared my vision. I offered her the chance to explore her dreams. She accepted. We'll make a good team. Okay. No, wrong gadget. There you go, that one. Let's go grab this thing with just enough time to end the episode. It wasn't really. It was just kind of out of reach. But anyway, yeah, that's all the time I have for this episode. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye